So uh, the police and fire are still here. They're still conducting search operations at this location. You can still see the bow of the cargo ship that has remnants of the key bridge just sitting on it. Just There's actually a portion of the roadway that's just sitting right on the bow of that ship. There are numerous tugboats here on standby in case their assistance is needed to try and do something with the ship. But I don't see it moving until they're able to lift uh, the portion of the key bridge off the cargo ship and then they'll be able to take and pull it back to uh, port and deal with it there. And the uh, barges that with these heavy cranes, it's gonna take them a while to get to this location and then they need the weight requirement, the height requirement. I'm Captain Roy Taylor. That is correct. And you have a, a, a individual that is placed on board this guard vessel that's, I mean, the helicopter that's actually conducting search operations. They have uh, the Baltimore County Police. They have Maryland State Police. They have the Army Raid Ship from the Air National Guard that is here as well conducting air... I mean, you have a pilot, a ship's pilot that is familiar with the harbor that is on board uh, this vessel. You normally have a couple of tugs, but they'll normally escort the vessel right up to the key bridge and then back off just to kind of monitor the situation as the uh, vessel travels underneath the key bridge. So for some reason, and we just don't know why, I need to know how much longer you guys want us. 